Right here is going to be the dog pen. We've got the post set. The gate will go right there. And then we may or may not put kennels here. I haven't really decided. We're trying to plan everything out, but for now, this is going to be the temporary dog pen. And this is the trench that we're digging for electric. We got some poly pipe here. And we got the um, outlet and we got the box. We'll get all that ran here. Hopefully today or tomorrow. Get some electricity out here to run a hot wire and maybe put a light up. Before we had power cords running all across the yard and it wasn't really, it didn't look very nice. We're doing it the right way this time. What are you doing? Huxton, what are you doing? Are you standing in my trench? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Is, is this for you? And now little man's at it. Not too much farther now. So this poly pipe that you see behind you, or behind him, is, um, that's our biggest piece. Let me show you, it's kind of a mess out here because I'm still working on stuff. But. So I got all this poly pipe. I picked it up. We saw it on Craigslist for a hundred bucks, which is a great deal. And um, we're gonna use that to run from, we're gonna use this larger inch and a half piece over here for this particular project. But then um, those corrals that are right there, we're gonna dig a trench out that way and run electric out there. And then my garden's on the other side of the shop and we'll use some more of this to run um, a light out there. The chicken coop will also be right next to the garden and then rabbits is gonna be right next to that. That way we'll have some fertilizer for the garden and then the chickens can scratch through that. It'll all work out pretty good. But first thing is just getting this trenched out so we can get the electric ran over there and then we'll stretch fence and put the gate up. Okay, there we go. Here, let's put it right here like this. Okay, in line. All right, now push. Push your foot. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, there we go, good. Now, there you go. Look at that, four years old and already digging out a trench. Good job. Got the poly pipe ran. About to shove the Romex down the line and get the box put on. Yep, so we got the water and electric line ran in, down in here. The bigger one's gonna be electric and then the smaller one's for water. And the coat is over there filling it in right now. There's the pipe sticking out down there. But unfortunately, just like every project we try to do, we don't have a fishing tape. So we're just gonna bury the trench for now and call it good. A little work's better than no work. Yeah, a long way to go. What are you looking for? No idea.
up, so I forgot to film him getting the box screwed on, and you can obviously see what he did there. Then we're gonna put some conduit in here. Inch and a half poly pipe that I used for conduit to this because it's half inch, half inch PVC conduit. So probably what I'm going to do is just fill this with uh, silicone or, or spray foam or something just to keep the conduit from filling up with water. Just we're doing an exterior box just to try to keep water from getting in these switches and corroding and causing problems. Like tonight, get my condo full. So that's what I want to do there. I'm not an electrician, so I just I just make things work. I don't uh, I mean all the proper fittings. And I could, you know, if I wanted to, I could have um, I could have got the uh, cable that's already in the in the conduit, the seal tight stuff like that, the high dollar stuff, and I could have run it over here. And I know I could have done all the fittings right, but um, this is on a budget and. I know that it's going to work at the end of the day and that's what counts because this whole project probably won't cost us $100, $125 to get the electrical and the, well it might cost a little more because we've got to tie into the water still on the water but you know maybe I'll say for sure under $200 we'll have water and electric out here so like I said don't go off anything I do as if it's code. <laughs> Just uh, this is uh, this is farm electrical and plumbing. <laughs> At least we'll have electric and water. It's better than extension cords laying across the ground and water hoses. Yeah. Well, yeah, we got the outlet side hooked up, but come with these stupid adapter things, and I put one in there and. A switch down there that I bought. It's not gonna work. So we're just gonna go back and get a square switch like I should have done the first time. I don't really remember why I didn't, but that's in there. We're gonna go pick us up a light to put on the pole and whatever else we need and get this thing finished and the wire stretched down down there. We'll be back. Okay, so we're back again. We got all the electrical officially wired up. We got a pole ran up there. We're going to put that wooden post, like I said earlier, behind this thing. And we'll get that strapped on there. And then we're going to put the light on top that we have got to order today. And by the way, if you want to order an outdoor light, I do not recommend going to Lowe's. Order off Amazon. They're half the price. Or a third. Anyway, uh, here's the box. We got our electric fence here, and we're going to plug it in for the first time, and hopefully it won't explode. Hold on to both of those terminals. Yeah, you're funny. Well, it's ticking. Oh, you knocked the light out of my Yeah, that sucks. I didn't do that. Oops. Oh, it works. That's good. And he also, he put in a... So there's a double outlet, and then he put in that light switch. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the flip, the normal kind, and they only had those rocker ones, so that's what we had to go with to make it fit in the box. But Pretty darn excited about that. We picked up this faucet here, too, and that's going to be our next step. We also switched out the panels, so we'll get those put on, get this water hooked up. Show them the, the cap to the oh, yeah. poly pipe to PVC conduit changeover we came up with. So we got this fixed. <laughs> I don't know if you remember before there was no it was just open and we kind of figured we'd fill it with silicone or um, uh, that foam, expandable foam but we came up with this idea and that's a little cleaner looking. 
Um, and then we're gonna, we also got the gate, just part of a panel. We're gonna put the hinges on that here soon and get that hooked up there. And it's almost ready. Pretty excited about having all the electrical water out here. This is gonna be our water. That's gonna be nice too. Okay, so we made a T from this post off over this way, and this is going to be our water line. And there's a spigot. And he ran it just under the fence, too, so we can run water out to the pasture eventually, out there to those crowds and wherever else we need. That's that for now. Then we're going to get the rest hooked up and get this buried after we get the water hooked up make sure it's not gonna leak or nothing well he finally got the light installed and we're gonna see check it out looks pretty bright it's supposed to be five thousand lumens right oh we, we upgraded but there you go it's a uh, it's actually a pretty tiny little light um it's like three inches by six inches or something. Oops. Let's see if we can get up here and look at it. Yeah. See, that's a pretty tiny little light right there, but it sure puts out. Puts out, though. It's not too bad. That'll be handy. All right, so we're gonna test this water spigot out and see what happens. The water that's in the trench right now is from all the rain, but we're gonna see if we can see some air bubbles or something. The hose is entirely full of air at the moment, so. Oh, the hose is over there. <laughs> I hear I hear water coming yeah, down the hose, check. so we. But there should be air pressure building in the uh, in the line right now. So if there's a if there's a leak, you should see some air bubbles. I'm gonna give it a while to let that pressure set in the hose, and then I'm gonna turn this spigot on and see if we got a uh, good water coming out. If, if there ain't no air coming out there, there ain't be no water leak. <laughs> there went there, pressure. Well, there's the pressure. So if it didn't leak any air, then Let's it's, see, Huxton. it's not going to leak water. Let me see the water. Oh, that hose is nasty. <laughs> oh, oh God, he's naked. I got to refilm that. And we have water. We just need a new hose. <laughs> well, no bubbles. Water works. Let's go over there and show them. Uh, Sweet. It's not officially plumbed into the well yet, so let's show them what. Okay. All right, so. What I used to, what I used to test the the, the uh, plumbing that we have installed was a hose fitting, and then just a female coupler, and then a poly pipe fitting, and uh, these crimped rings. The guy we bought this poly pipe from, I asked him if he had any experience with them. What if he would use uh, two, one or two? Because I had seen. Uh, had seen some YouTube videos where people were saying that 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 they used to, and and I couldn't find a lot of information on it. He said he'd never used them before, but he said he'd used two, and they're pretty cheap. So I just uh, I used two there. Um, that's just the apparatus, like I said, just to get this tested, so I can finish filling in my trench, so I can call that portion of the project complete. So now that that's complete, I'm gonna let this drain off, so we don't have a freezing problem. But it's probably going to run 
it's probably going to run i'm thinking i'm just going to bury it along the back side of the shop i could run it inside the shop but then it'd be more of a freezing problem because i'd have 40 feet of hose that's not insulated at the time i want to get the shop spray foam insulated but that's a pretty big project take some finances but the thing about this hose fitting is, is it doesn't swivel so it's kind of hard to get your water hose screwed into it oh, <laughs>